During the processing, most of the chemicals they use, ranging from cyanide and uh, mercury that they use, those things uh, contaminate the water. And even the way they handle the chemicals too, it has an effect on uh, most of those, uh, these miners, most especially the legal miners. Welcome back to Africa Science Focus, our weekly science and development show from SciDevNet. I am Ogichi Kenyo. We're back for the second part of our investigation into the pollution of the Oshun River in southwest Nigeria. Today, we're focusing on the gold mining that takes place along the riverbank. Joshua Izibili offers an insider's perspective on the region's destructive mining practices. From my practice, what I've observed is uh, a lot of um, reaction when it comes to the water very close to when uh, the illegal miners, when they work very close to the water, because most of them, they work very close to the water because they need the water for their processing. After the extraction, they need the water because um, good or cause in two different forms. It can be uh, alluvia uh, as an alluvia deposit or as an alluvia deposit. That means it can occur in uh, as a, in a rocks as well or occur maybe in a water or stream. So that that's just the different occurrence. So those that work uh, with those ones that are that that are deposited or that are causing water, those are work very close to the water and they are processing the need water too. So during the processing, most of the chemicals they use, ranging from cyanide and uh, mercury that they use, those things uh, contaminate the water. And even the way they handle the chemicals too, it has an effect on uh, most of those uh, these miners, most especially the legal miners, because they don't make use of the protective equipment. So after working for a few years, even so, one happened to me then, because I had a slumped twice in the pits. Mm. Uh-huh. So those are some of the reactions that happen, maybe because of the chemicals that are used, your body reacts to it because you, uh, your body system counters it, what will happen. And it triggers uh, a reaction that uh, might affect someone else-wise. So I, I spent a few days in the hospital then. Mm. So those are the things that uh, at times it's very good to know the state of your body system because the more you are exposed to all this chemical, when you are not using protective equipment, it will surely tell on the good health of the, of the, of the person. It will surely affect the person else-wise. To listen to the rest of this podcast episode, click on the link in the description below.